Hey guys, welcome back to the Diesel Stop here. So uh, today I wanted to talk about a new sponsor that's jumped on board for the uh, Molly Clevite project and uh, it's Diesel Auto Power and they have sent us this set of injectors here. These uh, injectors have uh, new nozzles in them and uh, these injectors are uh, 5x16 injectors and they have a uh, 255 bar on them and uh, these numbers here on the horsepower are uh, rough numbers because this all depends on how you have your VE injection pump set up so uh, roughly it'll add 150 horses or if you want to call it total numbers uh, 460 to 475 and uh, like I said that's rough because uh, it all depends on how you have your VE injection pump set up these injectors have a 7mm uh, shank on them, so we're going to run these uh, adapter sleeves to bump them up to 9mm. Uh, and this is the uh, stock injector that came out of this uh, Cummins. And uh, it is a 4x12 injector with a uh, 245 bar, and they have the 9mm uh, shank. Here's another injector right here that came out of the uh, first gen intercooled Cummins. It has a uh, two, uh, 245 bar on it as well, and it is a uh, 6x9 injector, and it has the 7mm uh, shank. So uh, as far as it goes, guys, we're going to get ready to install injectors here in a minute. And I just kind of wanted to show you what these look like up close before we uh, get started on the installation. And uh, these ought to be able to make that uh, little uh, VE pump scream there. And uh, I bet you that little VE pump probably has a hard time keeping up with these injectors. But uh, I don't know, we'll find out when we uh, get this motor done and this truck done. And we stick it up on the dyno guys and uh, find out some total numbers on everything. So uh, let's get ready to uh, install some injectors here, guys. Well guys, what we're going to do here is uh, install these injectors here and it's got this little uh, ball bearing that sits in the front right here and uh, on these uh, nozzles what I've done is uh, right behind the sleeve right here you can see I've put just a just a very light little dab of uh, grease in there to help hold the uh, adapter sleeve onto the injector so when you turn it upside down it doesn't fall off on you so uh, this uh, little bearing right here is going to go towards the front of the motor and uh, there's only one way this is going to sit in there guys and uh, once it pops in there we're going to put our uh, retaining nut on this injector and uh, these retaining nuts are going to torque down to 45 foot-pounds and I've already got my torque wrench set up here Well guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this uh, O-ring over the uh, top of this injector here and uh, we're going to put it right here in the uh, top of the uh, retaining nut where this uh, voided area is right here and uh, this O-ring is going to help keep trash out from uh, going down in beside the uh, injector body and in, uh, in between the uh, re retaining nut there. So we're just going to slide this uh, O-ring over the uh, top of the injector here and then we're going to work it down in beside the uh, retaining nut and the uh, injector body here guys most usually whenever you uh, do an aftermarket set of injectors the uh, injectors hadn't been messed with in a long time and uh, the uh, usually the o-ring that comes out is uh, pretty much uh, turned to solid rock almost and it usually crumbles into pieces but uh, it's actually just a o-ring that's uh, in there And that's it guys that there is gonna keep the trash out like I said from uh, going in beside your uh, your injector there in between that and the uh, retaining nut mm -hmm. 
Well guys, that about wraps it up for today with uh, the injectors here. And uh, like I said, I can't put the injection lines on yet because I am uh, having the uh, intake manifold custom made for this 5.9 uh, Cummins here. So uh, for now we're just going to leave these uh, covers on the injectors. And then uh, whenever I get the manifold in, we'll uh, go to put injection lines and stuff on. So uh, if you get the chance guys, go check them out, dieselautopower.com. And uh, they'll be more than happy to have your business over there. And uh, if you go shopping over there, guys, make sure you tell them that the uh, diesel stop sent you. So uh, if you hadn't had the chance to subscribe, subscribe. And uh, the next video, we're going to be installing a South Bend clutch, a, a dual disc South Bend clutch, good for 750 horses, bigger input shaft, and all that cool stuff. So uh, we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.